whether to protect the people inside from being seen or those outside from seeing, he didn't know, it didn't matter. He walked Claudia Driver SUV past the bar, up the street, and into a space hidden from the highway by a white van with a faded for sale sign taped to the back window. She opted out and hurried toward him. She was still dressed like she was going hiking. Who is it with white women from Seattle? <laughs>
shots. The other men in the bar planned real close attention as she leaned over the table, her hair brushing the belt. That spendy fucker had been playing Def Leppard all night and had run out of quarters. <laughs> 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 Just as soon as I let her sink this eight ball, which she did, a clean shot at the corner pocket, she'd make a fuss about it, which was good of her. Then again, she looked like the kind of woman who expected to win. She rested the cue on the table. Come to me, Belle. Where to? I don't think I should drive. Need a lift? Give me a little thought. That's all they ever do. <laughs> Hotel was only two miles down the road, but it seemed like a long way. But with her not talking and sighing and staring out the window, just like one of the regret decision as she's making it. <laughs> <laughs> she made it reserve the room too, which was fine because uh, while she waited out the truck, half hiding her face with her hand, a quick check revealed she's too nasty even for him. She got another room, paying extra twenty dollars for view. They might be together in the morning, maybe. This room had floors that sloped and sent him stumbling, but the sheets were all right. The overhead, the overhead light, though, was too harsh. It made the bed look like an operating table. <laughs> he switched it off, turning on the bedside table lamp and hustling after the truck to lead her up the second floor, her foot catching once, twice on the concrete steps. And when they got to the room, would he believe she had the nerve to ask him where he would be sleeping? <laughs> Don't be mean, I need honey. We both know what we're here. And then he was kissing her neck and taking off her god awful clothes. Tossing them into the corner along with his own. At some point, she stopped pretending like she hadn't come here for this and stepped closer into his arms, which held her loosely now that he knew she was staying. She turned a slow circle, his tip leaving a small, slick trail around her waist that gleamed in the lamplight, a detail that delighted him that had never happened before. First, he pushed her onto the bed. Her legs were all angles, her fingers clutching the thin leather mattress as he gave her the kind of head it taken his entire thirties to learn. <laughs> <laughs> he came up for air, his breath heavy with her tang, and shoved her face sideways with his chin, whispering, "He's nice." She looked startled to see him so close to her. Before she could say anything, he pushed inside, watching her face, watching her tits shake, watching her eyes if we're having trouble focusing. They settled on staying closed as she clutched his shoulders, her mouth helpless, her minds wandering the darkness together. <laughs> Someone was pounding on the door from the other room. Laughing, Peter popped himself up and raised his right fist, gave an answer. <laughs> Claudia's eyes are open again. He's not here. No. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped down to his elbows one at a time, the flat of her belly hot against him. You're a lot nicer than that little whiskey on It's hard to be mad at someone when they're right in the middle of fucking you. Have you tried it? You want to get angry. You may even feel yourself coil up to get angry. But it's easier to toss pride over your shoulder like so much less than salt. And that's exactly what Claudia did. She saw her face sour, and then she, then she just let it go, turning her mouth away, arching her back to bear, the tail underside of her jaw. And he put his thumb in the crook of it, his fingers grappling the back of her neck. Her body torque as he fucked her, her head twisting to one side, then the next, until she stiffened her shoulders into one axle and drove the pressure down her back and into her hips and that other mouth that gaped and begged and was filled. Himself up into the phone. Hello? <laughs> Sir, you've been getting calls. Well, I imagine you would. You're listed, aren't you? 
Sir, calls about disturbance to your room. Disturbance? You're a forest ranger or something? Sir, it's a noise disturbance from your your affair. Affair? All we're doing is fucking. Please, show some respect to the other guests. If you can't fuck out loud in the motel, where can you do it? <laughs> and giggles, cutting through the static, burning all the way down the line, and into the first slope. <laughs> <laughs>